think we're ready to get started. First day of school, opening chapel service. Good to have you with us. Good morning. Good morning. I know you guys came in the building a little more excited than that. There's a little more energy. I can feel it. So good morning. Good morning. Okay, that was pretty good. Welcome back to school. Good to have you with us. Raise your hand if you are a returning student. Raise your hand if you are a returning student. Lots of returning students. Raise your hand if you are a new student here. Let's welcome our new students. Good to have you guys with us, both, both returning and new students. For those of you who don't know who I am, I am Pastor Rue. I serve the pastor, as pastor here at St. Paul's, both in the church and the school. Uh, and I also teach catechism to our 7th and 8th graders. Um, so it is wonderful to see you guys here. I hope you had a very blessed summer, and I pray that God blesses our school year this year. So uh, what we are going to do right now is we are going to have an opening chapel service. Those of you who don't know what chapel is or what we do here, uh, we are a Christian school, which means we learn about God here. Uh, God is the most important thing in our lives. He's the most important person in our lives because he gives us everything that we need for this life. And most importantly, God is going to bring us to heaven someday. And we're going to teach you guys all about that this year. And so when we come here, we worship God. It's our way of showing our appreciation and thanks for all the wonderful things God has done for us. So uh, if you want to follow along and participate, I certainly encourage you to do so, and you can do so by uh, following what's up on the screen. Uh, there will be some parts where I speak, there will be some parts where you speak, and we'll also sing some, some songs or hymns as well, okay? So follow along what's on the screen, and we will begin our opening chapel service with some responses. So you guys are the group, so you guys say the group words, okay? So we begin our worship. Oh Lord, teach us your ways that we may walk in your truth. You comfort us day by day. We trust your loving care. You are the king of heaven and earth. We give you praise and thanks. Alleluia. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you invite us to pray and promise that where two or three come together in your name, there you are with us. Answer our prayers and fulfill our desires according to your wisdom and love. In this school year, strengthen us in the knowledge of your truth and prepare us for life everlasting. Amen. Amen. We'll join together in singing uh, a, a hymn, a song called Blessed Jesus at Your Word. Uh, we'll sing the first and last stanzas, and what we'll do is this. I will play through the melody once through so you kind of know what it sounds like, and then we'll join together in singing those two stanzas. So, Maddie, if you wouldn't mind. The words will be up on the screen, so you are, you're able to follow along. And I definitely ask our returning students, and especially our older students, to take the lead and uh, help, uh, help guide us and help lead us. So here's what that hymn sounds like. screen.
There's a good reason why we opened our chapel service by singing that song, because every time we come here for school, every time we come here for chapel, Jesus is with us, and we are uh, gathering around his word for, for our salvation. So, you guys are just coming back from summer break, and I, I hope and pray you guys had an awesome summer. Uh, who did some awesome things over the summer? Raise your hand if you did something awesome this summer. Nolan, tell me one awesome thing you did this summer. You went to the fair. All right, that is an awesome thing. Reese? I was swimming at grandma's. Swimming at grandma's. That is an awesome thing. Yes, sir? My brother, my baby brother had his birthday. Ah, baby brother had his first birthday. That is awesome. All right. Abby? Um, I went to Lake. You went to what? Booth Lake, that is awesome. Grace. Went on the lake. Went on the lake. Alright, let's let's uh, get some answers from over here. Evan. Uh, a, lemur. a what? A lemur. a lemur sitting on his shoulders. That is pretty awesome. Maddie. Urban air. Alright, cool. Tony. Texas. Texas. Love Texas. Yes, sir. What's that? Well, I, I only called on one person, so only one person should be talking. Uh, one more time, please. Owen went camping. There you go. Way in the back. Went up north. And one more in the back, right next to him. Yeah, you. Your what? Your cat had kittens? All right, cool. All right, all right. Um, awesome. So I, I know you guys did a lot of awesome stuff, and perhaps you can share those awesome things with me. Uh, I had an awesome summer. There are a couple awesome things that uh, I would like to share with you about my summer. The, probably the first awesome thing that happened this summer was I got to watch my favorite team, the Milwaukee Bucks, win the, their first NBA championship for the first time in 50 years. That was amazing. That was incredibly awesome and I know some of you were also cheering them on. Another awesome thing I got to do this summer uh, was go on a road trip with my family. Uh, there's my family, my wife and my, my two boys, Jeffrey and Benjamin. Uh, we went to South Carolina, saw some of my wife's relatives. In the background, uh, you can see some of the Smoky Mountains that we drove through, which was really pretty. Um, we went on a hike, which had some gorgeous waterfalls. This one was my favorite. Uh, just very scenic, very beautiful, peaceful, serene. Um, and then we also went to Virginia Beach. So this is a picture of us uh, at the beach uh, on the Atlantic Ocean. So we really enjoyed our road trip. So those were a couple of awesome things that I did this summer. And I know you guys did a lot of awesome things this summer as well. Well, the theme for our school year, talking about awesome things, well, this year we're going to talk about how God is awesome and what does it mean when you say that something is awesome when you are describing something as awesome what does that mean what do you think yeah it's cool all right yeah I, I agree with that yes ma'am really fun. really fun okay sometimes it could be definitely yes awe-inspiring awe I like that one Awe-inspiring, that awesome, awe-inspiring, there you go. I like how you made that connection there, yeah. So, um, one more. Oh, was that a hand up? No, it's a stretch. All right, in the back. It's really amazing, another good word, absolutely. And God is certainly those things. God is wonderful, God is amazing, God is certainly awe-inspiring. And uh, we're going to talk all year long about how God is awesome, okay? We're going to talk about that in our, in our chapel services. And when you do Christ light and memory work and catechism, uh, you're just going to be filled with so much knowledge about how awesome our God is. And it really, for us, it started at the very beginning, right? Well, first off, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. There's a passage in the book of Psalms which says this, Psalm 47, verse 2 says, Yes, the Lord Most High is awesome. He is the great king over all the earth. Right? 
God is king over all the earth because he created this whole world. He created everything in this world, and that includes you. That's how awesome God is, that he would do everything for us. He provides for all of our needs. And as you read through the, through the Bible and you do your Bible lessons, you're going to hear some amazing things that God did for you and for his people. But most importantly, the most awesome thing that God has done for you and me is sending his son, Jesus, to rescue us from our sins, to rescue us from hell, and give us eternal life where we will live with God in peace and happiness forever. That is the most awesome thing that God has done for you, and we are going to tell you guys all about it this year. Your teachers are going to tell you about it. I'm going to tell you about it. It is going to be an awesome year, all thanks to our awesome God. Remember, the Lord Most High is awesome. He is the great king over all the earth. God is awesome, and we're going to talk about that all year long. That's our school year theme, okay? So, with that being said, uh, let's pray to our awesome God. Uh, this will be a responsive prayer, so you guys will say the bottom parts um, um, in the group section, okay? So, let's fold our hands, bow our heads, and let's pray. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all people throughout the world, to strengthen believers and to enlighten unbelievers, we pray, Lord, have mercy. For peace and justice among the nations, for honest leaders and good neighbors, for the gift of love, for steadfast faith and patient endurance, we pray, Lord, have mercy. For those who suffer pain and sorrow, for the lonely and depressed, for the poor and needy, for those who love us and for those who hate us, we pray, Lord, have mercy. Be gracious to us. Defend us by your power and bring us to glory everlasting. To you, O Lord, we entrust ourselves. Amen. And we'll join together in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And we'll conclude our chapel service by singing one short hymn. It's called, Abide, O Dearest Jesus. Basically, it's a hymn in which we ask God to be with us. And that is certainly a, a prayer that we have um, as we begin a new school year, that God would be with us. So again, I'll play through the melody of that hymn, and then once I do, uh, then you're invited to sing along. And we'll conclude our chapel service with God's blessing. So the Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless and preserve us this school year. 
Amen. Good to worship with you guys. God's richest blessings on your first day of school.